Rusty co-pilot, Rossi Ross Matthews, and I am also joined by the co-author of our mutual cookbook called Rebel Homemaker, which, by the way, comes out any second. Oh. We're so excited. It's friend of the show, Drew Crew member, and extraordinary chef, Blair Galvin. Yes. Also the best time to watch horror films. We just did Hocus Pocus with the girls and a big thing of popcorn. Enjoying your favorite snacks, getting creative, getting a little culinary for your fright night. Um, so Rossi. Yeah. And today we've got some spooktacular Halloween movie snacks and all inspired by Drew's. No one told me that was going to happen. Nor me. You know how I am with scary movies. No more of that. I'm too much of a scary movie. Stop it! I kind of dig it. Okay. By the way, I'm into it. Okay. All right. Well, I'm not going to say scary movie anymore because every time they play that. So scary movie! No, stop it! All right. So these are inspired by Drew's scary movie? What's first on our menu, Pilar? So we're going to kick it off over here with an icy witch's brew. Ooh. Ooh. We've got some dry ice in there, as you can see, the smoke, Ross. Thank you for tending to the dry ice. I'm into this. It's a hibiscus-based punch, actually. Ooh. And we make um, frozen eyeballs. Ooh. We have, Ooh. Are those we have, lychee? They're lychee fruit. Oh, no. oh lychee. how fun. Do you want to get your hands in? Come on. I do. Yeah. So you're going to take the pitted lychee fruit. Oh, it's so cold. And you're going to stuff the blueberry into the cavity, just nice. like that, like Ross is doing. Right. Yes. Hi. And then you're going to dip it in some red color. I see. <laughs> you are so funny. Oh my God. Ooh. And then you're going to freeze them. And so they double up as little ice cubes yeah. in your. That's so beautiful. Which They're is so good. Blue. Look, look how good this I did. I'm, I'm such a good pupil. <laughs> <laughs> Um, so All right, so shall we move on to the next? Yes, please. Yes, All right, please. our next treat. So fun. And I'm going to pass it down actually to you. Is um, there extraterrestrial treats inspired by everyone's favorite extraterrestrial? Oh. They're brown butter puffed rice treats stuffed with marshmallow <laughs> and peanut butter. No. I mean, you, you can't go star. wrong. Uh huh. The brown butter does it. Uh huh. Mm -hmm. All right. Mm -hmm. Oh my God! Wait, <laughs> is that a little bike? Yes, right we have a bike oh. and the moon and a little basket. So if you guys want, when you have people over for Halloween, you get a little basket, a little bike, cut out a little moon. It's so good. All right, we're gonna move on. All right, if we have to. <laughs> <laughs> the next treat is inspired. I'm gonna swap with you, Ross. Oh yeah. The next treat is inspired by. Mr. Bowlegs, I believe, Drew, you coughed up Mr. Bowlegs. It's from Santa Clarita Diet. <laughs> Mr. Bowlegs over here is made of um, leftover cake with uh, frosting that you smush together, roll, and then he's dipped in melted chocolate. So we're actually going to have you guys roll the cake, and you're going to roll him in some melted chocolate. Exactly. Yeah, you know what? And I then forgot you can about pop him tip. on the side, and then you're going to do the sprinkles. Here you blah, go, Ross. Blah, blah, blah. By the way, I'm, I have to say, I've, I've never seen sprinkles like this. They're like little gunmetal grape. They're colors. really beautiful. They they feel very baller and there aggro, you go. and I'm really yeah, into it. Yeah, right? Yeah. Like, it would hurt if you like, threw them. Eat it! <laughs> Just eat it! <laughs> Such a threat. And the wonderful thing about Mr. Ball Legs, too, is that he is fully edible. So his legs are made of pretzel sticks. <gasps> dipped in more chocolate. Yeah. I love pretzel sticks. So, shall we, shall we? Yeah, do we, are we supposed to eat them now? I think we should do yes, that one. Yes, please. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah. 
<laughs> it's so good. Uh -huh. really good. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. What have we got next? <laughs> All right. The, ne the next one, actually, Drew, is, is perfect for the energy we're going for right now. I love it. <laughs> oh, um, so love to it. your right, we actually have a really beautiful three-tiered red velvet cake with cream cheese frosting. So you're going to take the candied glass shards. It's a little bit of sugar, water, and a little bit of corn syrup, and you bring it to a boil, just like you're making candy, mm -hmm. and then you put it on a prepared uh, baking pan, and you allow it to harden, and then you shatter it very gently. Hey, can we yeah, yeah, yeah. Do yeah. it, Rusty. Do it. Come on, come on. Ready? I'm gonna step back. Yeah, you got this. Yes. <laughs> oh, that is so. That is. Yes. And Ross, I have some fake blood for you also. Oh, thank you. What do I do with it? Do I want it to like drip down a I little bit? I think as much or as little. Yeah. Oh, there you go. Okay. Wow. Oh, that's Beautiful. good. I love this. I have one more surprise for you, Drew. Oh, you oh, and really? Ross. Oh, what? Is it um, the sound effect again? Because I can't handle that. <laughs> So we're, I'm going to have you guys cut into the cake, just like you would a normal, just cut a slice. I'm going to step back. <laughs> <laughs> and joining us in the audience are actually, this feels inappropriate. <laughs> Hold on a second. Mm -hmm. Joining us in the audience are a mom and daughter who I recently met on Instagram Live. Paulette and Harper are here. Hi, <laughs> We were watching School of Rock on the CBS Sunday Night Movies. Guess what? What? That when I was on the airplane, I watched E.T. You did? <laughs> well, this is a perfect question, you know, because I'm really interested. Did you find it a little scary, or were you okay with it? I was okay with it, and I facaded the alien. <laughs> did you like E.T.? The karmic wheel did me such justice by finding the two of you. Thank you so much for picking up my Instagram live invitation. You're welcome. Okay. And Pilar, apparently there's a surprise inside this there's cake. There's a little surprise. So why don't you and Ross go ahead and ooh, cut those? Oh, whoa, that's hardcore. Oh, yes. Whenever I try to, like, cut a cake for my kids, it doesn't, it, it, it's not. Oh! oh wow. <laughs> I can say, this is the most inventive Halloween cake I've ever seen, <laughs> ever, hands down. Oh, Pilar, thank you for making Halloween so special for us. Thank you guys for having me. Oh, that is so cool. Alex, Laura, and Calmary for coming up with these amazing recipes, both of you together, your collaborations. If this is what they look like, I'm in. And you can find all of this on our website to make it your house on a spooky movie night. And I just want to thank you so much for choosing to spend your time with us. We make this show for you. That's right, Harper. I'm looking right at you. So please take this good